Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see about iOS 16.4, feature highlights, battery performance, and what are the problems I have experienced after updating to the 16.4 version. Apple have released iOS 16.4, iPadOS 16.4, macOS 13.3, tvOS 16.4, and watchOS 9.4 for compatible Apple devices. With the 16.4 from the release notes, we can see bunch of features they have mentioned and plenty of bug fixes and security fixes comes under the hood which also mentioned in the security release report. In yesterday's short video I have explained about one important feature that comes with the 16.4 which is voice isolation feature because many of us were missing the noise cancellation feature that was working with older iPhone models up to iPhone 10, 12 I believe. iPhone 13 and 14 models were not getting the proper voice isolation and noise cancellation feature and with this update it is now available. When it comes to the security content of this update, Apple have fixed more than 30 serious security bugs you know that apps could have gained some sensitive data and other privileges within the device and Apple have also released you know with similar set of bug fixes and security fixes for Mac computers with older Mac computers that is supporting the Mac OS Big Sur and you know the Mac OS Monterey it is also right now available with the next version so if you are using Mac computer don't delay you have to update it immediately when it comes to the Mac OS Ventura 13.3 update you can see there are more than 20 important security bug fixes have been done it will make your Mac overall performance much stable. If you're already using the 13 version, then it is important to update to the latest Mac OS 13.3 version. Coming back to the topic, iOS 16.4, you know, size varies between each iPhone models. And the very first feature that we need to notice is the voice isolation feature. For iPhone 13 and, you know, 14 models, especially users will be able to experience better audio clarity, you know, on the person speaking at the other end will be able to get a better uh, voice clarity when we have this particular feature turned on. There is no separate toggle available under the settings phone app. When you're on call, you need to access it only from the control center. The second important feature is 5G is right now available in Turkey and for all other country users previously under the mobile data options voice and data section you must be seeing the 5G standalone feature. For me in India we were seeing with the Geo network I'm not sure about Atel. If you are using Atel network, then if you are seeing the 5G standalone, do mention it in the comment section. When it comes to the Geo 5G, the 5G standalone toggle is now removed because Apple says in the release notes that the 5G standalone feature will work only if the network is offering the true 5G experience. And if it is, you know, still using the 4G LTE core for serving the 5G band, then it won't be showing the 5G standalone feature. It is not a serious problem. You know, you can still keep the 5G on or auto according to your needs and you will be able to experience good speed for both the downloads and uploads. The second important feature is iCloud Photos shared library introduced around iOS 16.2 release and right now if your friends and family members have access to you know who have access to the shared library uploads photos and if there is any duplicates then the photos duplicates feature will also work for the shared library and this will definitely be helpful you know to prevent uh, one person or multiple people consuming more storage with duplicate photos or burst photos when someone creates shared library and share it with them. And the next thing is that Apple mentioned in the first, you know, as the first feature in the release notes is adding 21 new emojis. I'm not able to figure out, you know, all the, uh, find out all the emojis uh, from the collection. If you are able to see the difference compared to the previous version of emojis, you know, please do type them in the comments. When I chat with my friends, I frequently use, you know, few emojis repeated so maybe it will be useful for people who are you know keep on exploring and you know uh, expecting new emojis uh, in their iPhone and iPad. If you have a free time don't forget to you know try to fill out all the 21 emojis in the comments section. All right the next important feature is when you use the add to home screen feature from Safari browser for any specific website if the website is designed with progressive web app or you know it allows web based notification push notification then that feature will now work with the 16.4 update. And for any websites that uses the iOS device 16.4, 
push notification. The web push notification feature will also be visible under the settings notification section. So you will be able to control the badges, alerts and everything you know that the website is trying to push to your device lock screen and home screen. It's a nice feature addition I believe because instead of applications people who have websites, the web developers can focus on bringing such useful uh, notification addition to their website. And the next important thing is the coverage section under settings general about you know along with your iPhone you will see the Apple Care Plus coverage and other warranty related information you know of your connected accessories within this section. It is useful but I believe that if Apple adds all the devices that we own like iPad and Mac computer it will be much useful. And the next important feature highlight is with the release of 16.4 Apple now adds customizable PS5 DualSense Edge controller support. So if you are using Sony's new controllers the PS5 DualSense Edge controllers and you are using it with your iPhone or iPad for gaming purposes then it will be fully compatible with your devices for especially Apple Arcade games. I will bring a separate video about how the controller works for gaming. So the compatibility makes sure that you enjoy your game with your PS5 DualSense controller without any issues. And the second important part of this video is battery. After updating to 16.4 you can see that under settings battery, battery health and charging, my battery maximum capacity stays at 100%. I am following the same battery charging practice that I have suggested to our audience in one of our episodes. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. If you are new to iPhone and you like to follow the same practice to maintain your battery health, you know, it doesn't mean that you can make the battery stay at 100%, but it will reduce a little bit slower and it will be maintained well according to your usage. Even if it is reduced to a 3% per month, you know, in upcoming months, I won't be surprised. As the battery chemically ages, there will be a difference. When it comes to the battery performance, as you can see, I took the screenshot yesterday around 7, 4 a.m. Day before yesterday night, I have updated. After charging it to around 80%, you know, 79%, you can see the overnight battery drain seems to be stable in my iPhone 14 Plus. I started my day with around uh, 72, 73% battery capacity and throughout the day, it went really okay around evening 6 p.m. you can see the battery have reached 6 to 7 p.m. it has reached 28 percentage. I do feel you know the battery draining was a little bit faster uh, because it is a new software update with so many bug fixes and you know few feature additions. So I'm going to give three to four days time to get the update you know optimize the device and settle down. Before that concluding that this update is excellent with the battery or very poor with the battery performance is not fair. After four to five days collecting each and uh, you know iPhone model user based feedback I will bring a separate follow up video that will be helpful to decide if you are planning to update after checking the reviews from uh, other iPhone models and uh, user feedbacks. So here you can see from the graph I am using Instagram, Facebook and you know other streaming services like YouTube. So based on the video streaming and the apps that we use the battery drain will be a bit faster. So let's wait for the four to five days maximum you know to see how the battery performance overall is and definitely I will share the full details and if there is any additional tips I will definitely share them with you in the follow-up video. Third part of the video is problems of iOS 16.4. One important problem I have faced is AirDrop was not working after updating to 16.4 between my iPhone 14 plus my iPhone 12 and my Mac Studio. When I tried to enable and disable the AirDrop feature from the control center and from the settings AirDrop section and also I have checked whether the continuity service, the universal clipboard have any problems. So I tried to turn on and off the services within the handoff which I thought may be helpful in this case and then I tried the airplane mode on and off to check whether the clipboard is working or not because I tried to copy some text in my iPhone and tried to paste it in my Mac Studio and it didn't work after the update. Then I restarted my iPhone and checked and still it was not working. The airdrop uh, list was not showing my iPhone in my Mac computer. So I tried to restart both the devices, my iPhone and the Mac Studio. Then the airdrop started to working. So I believe that Mac OS 13.3 version may also have some bug related to this. And today also while trying to share something I 
had the same airdrop related problem so i'm expecting 16.4.1 very soon as i'm going to submit the same problem to apple through their feedback application and hoping there will be a fix soon if you are also experiencing the similar airdrop problem after updating to 16.4 then do try restarting your device and that will definitely be helpful to fix the problem do share your thoughts about 16.4 in the comment section after using it for at least two to three days for any questions use dailyter.com answers and if you find this video useful you know what to do thank you and have a wonderful day